Hi all, welcome back. So the idea behind this video is to start uh, sharing a little bit more about my regular day-to-day -day practice. So in this particular case today I'm going to focus on handstand push-up. So you're going to see uh, a little bit how I structure my sessions. Uh, sometimes it depends, they vary depending on how much free time I have or time between clients and classes and so on. Okay, so as I go through the session, I'm going to just briefly explain how, what I'm going to do, maybe reps and sets, and maybe discuss uh, some other details about one particular exercise. And on some videos, I'm just going to allow the video to flow, just showing myself doing the exercise. Okay, so hope you enjoy this uh, format. And uh, please, as always, uh, if you have any feedback, let me know. Uh, hope you enjoy it. So one of the great drills that I like to use to warm up my muscles, my shoulders predominantly for the handstand push-up uh, is this kneeling, very protracted, sort of hybrid between push-up and sort of pike push-up. So you're having external rotation of your arms, so elbows in, head is going to come here, I'm kneeling, ribs in, protracted, leaning forward, keeping strong protraction, gently reaching, going back. Do this for five to six reps, keeping the engagement. Well, it's a very simple pattern. If you need it correctly, you can definitely feel all the necessary muscles working. Keeping the elbows in, keeping strong protraction. I'm gonna do one more. Beautiful. So. Why kneeling variation? Just because I don't want to drain myself too much before attempting uh, such a high level skill. Uh, I really need lots of focus uh, and want to stay as fresh as I can, like handstand push -up. Onwards to the handstand push -up. So one of my recent projects is to go back to refine the handstand push-ups and trying to build up reps. So although I'm fairly consistent with doing single rep handstand push-up and I can even do full range handstand push-up with lots of effort, uh, it takes quite a bit of effort to actually do two, maybe even three reps. My form really starts to suffer uh, as the reps go up. And if you ever practice handstand push-ups, you probably know how difficult it is to actually connect 
uh, let's say up to five reps together. Okay, so that's my current project. So without being too heavy on myself, I'm gonna try to do either one, if I feel okay, maybe even consecutively two reps in a row. Trying to focus on the form, but if I arch my lower back on the second rep, that's perfectly fine, okay? Let's see how it goes. So that was first sort of successful rep. It took me like one or two warm-ups where I successfully pushed up, but I kind of lost balance at the very end. So this is first time where I managed to do like a, a rep and a half. So I completed one full rep and then did eccentric of the other one. It's a great way also to uh, develop strength. So now I'm going to rest minute, minute and a half, and then I'm going to repeat this again. Sometimes with these high level skills, like handstand push-ups, uh, even if you think you got it, uh, you're still refining it, you, it might take you more than a few reps, especially in your bad day, to get into the zone. That's definitely the case for me. So today is definitely not a good day <laughs> so far. So my balance is off. I don't really feel the connection in my shoulders. Uh, but I'm still going to continue with the session, obviously, and I'm going to try to just change the perspective and intention. I'm going to try to do one single clean rep from now on and have a minute, minute and a half, maybe a bit more rest in between. So let's try one and see how it goes. Okay, so that went better than expected. Uh, although I wasn't really feeling it in the shoulders. Uh, as you ever practice hands and push-ups or if you're planning to, as long as you set really good shoulders, so external rotation, protraction, especially on the way down, uh, you'll be okay. You instantly, as you're starting to go down, you're gonna notice, oh, okay, this is stable, it's gonna feel good. Obviously, you also need some capacity and strength to push up to do the concentric part, but we're gonna sort of tackle the strength part afterwards. Right now, we're simply focusing on skill execution. So after finishing 10 reps and trying a few more, I realized my rate of success was just going down. So I'm just gonna call it a day in terms of skill development. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna practice that 90 degree position, which for lots of people is the hardest part. So the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do it for eight to 10 seconds approximately. You wanna stay in the 90 degree sort of shoulder stand position. Multiple ways to get there. Uh, my preferred variations, just so you don't lose balance, uh, is and sort of the easiest way is to go from crow stance. So here, making sure I set shoulders. I'm setting my shoulders, legs together, making sure I'm not arching, and just holding in that position. gets easier so it's a great way to develop strength through sort of static static isometric uh, contraction as long as you have set your shoulders and first when you do this it probably might take you five six seconds max and then gradually gonna build up whatever you do just make sure you have similar to handstand ribs in posterior tilt squeeze your bum really try not to arch okay Let's move on. So 
So after doing a few sets of uh, static shoulder stand uh, positions, uh, now we're transitioning into sort of uh, just general strengthening of the shoulders uh, to strengthen the pattern. So one of the best ways, I'm going to keep it simple today, I'm going to revisit uh, feet elevated pike push-ups. So usually I tend to do uh, arms elevated and feet elevated, so I'm actually doing full range, but for today I'm just gonna demonstrate the most basic variations, which is which I find one of the best drills to develop strength for uh, handstand push-ups. Maybe even superior to chest to wall handstand, but that's just me, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do usually I do three to four sets of anywhere between six to eight reps, really making sure my form is uh, correct, okay? So the way I do it, so feet elevated, let's say you have chair, hands. I always like to go slightly wider than the shoulders, especially if I have long arms, okay? So ribs in, hips ideally as much as possible over your shoulders, just to replicate handstand position. And let's go. Lean forward, head comes down, go up, forward. So I always like to superset pike push-ups. Uh, I'm gonna create a drop set. So I'm either working on uh, dips, or in this case today I'm gonna do just good old floor push-ups. So you can always make them slightly harder by leaning forward with your shoulders before you go and doing more reps. So I'm gonna aim for eight to ten reps. Okay, as you should already be a little bit fatigued from pike push-ups. With pike push-ups, most common mistake is I see people uh, either place their hands together, wrists in, or elbows going out too much. Because you want to, as, as we're working, this is the project, handstand push-up, you want to make sure we replicate the same pattern, okay? Same thing as you would be in a handstand. So from elevated position, leaning forward, External rotation in the shoulders, elbows in, protracting, pushing up, back in the first position. Towards the end of this session, I like to include some rotator cuff work. In this case, I'm going to work on Cuban rotations, but you can do horizontal pull aparts, you can do any other variations, uh, you can do single arm. I'm just kind of short on time as I need to teach a class soon, so I'm just going to do both arms. So, the way I like to do this one so, the further you go with your feet, the more intense it's going to be making sure I have a thread in between my one elbow and other elbow. I'm squeezing my shoulders down, depressing, elbows 90 degrees. All I want to do here, without compensations in other areas of the body, I'm trying to go up and down, okay? So, grabbing the band, setting the shoulders, let's go. So, 12, 10 to 12 reps, let's say.
and that would be it. Thank you so much for joining me on this session, which definitely wasn't one of my best sessions, but it's always good to, you know, show up, do whatever you can. Uh, even from the failures, uh, you know, there's always something to learn, you know, always uh, micro, micro improvements. Some would say we always progress, uh, regardless of even if we think a uh, session was really good, but there's always certain level of progress if we observe this on the macro level. So thank you so much. Uh, this is just one of the examples, like a push push day, let's call it, it's my one of my projects. Uh, I'm definitely gonna include some pulling work, some bouldering work, some dancing work, some flexibility work and many more. So stay tuned and see you soon. Take care.